What's up, guys? It's another video. You already know this is another fucking video you click on there, right? I'm just not even. I, just, I had to do it to mock the YouTubers, okay? Don't blame me. I thought it was funny. I didn't clear my storage, so hopefully I don't run out and sit here and talk to a phone that's off because it's really irritating. It happens way too much. But uh, this video is. I guess about what I do in the out of town life and how I keep myself busy because I don't know, someone the other day said I didn't have a job and I was a little kid, so I decided to make this video because I was sitting here thinking, I was like, you know what, why not? Because I'm just like trying to think of ideas for podcasts because I'm out of town, so I can't make the cool videos I want to make with my truck and me doing dumb shit at home because I haven't been home in three weeks. I've been in Virginia. I install running tracks. I think I already made that clear like forever ago, but yeah, for like high schools and things like that, the tracks around, you know, the field that people run on, those, I put those in. That's what I do. Um, this is my gourmet dinner. For once, I could actually make nice dinner because my hotel is actually nice for once, and I have a stove, which is really rare, and a dishwasher, like, what? It's like a whole apartment, which is rare. Normally, you know, you get lucky enough to have a mini fridge and a microwave, and no bed bugs. Last hotel I was at, rats ate my bread. I got this mean rash from a, a spider that bit me. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, that all started as a spider bite or something. I don't know. I had an allergic reaction and it just itches like crazy. But I spray the shit out of it. I'll show you. I got this killer anti-itch shit. I just spray that out of it and it works. But yeah, so I spent a lot of time in a hotel room. I'm not old enough to drink and I don't like associating with people. I don't like wasting money. Well, I do, but I need to stop. So I will go to work and then I'll come back here and do push ups and sit ups and exercises I can do in my room because I can't go to the gym, really. I guess I could, but it's not really in the cards right now, especially with my time. And I read. Which I feel like people just don't believe. I don't know. I mean, people. a lot of people I don't think know that I just read a lot. But I read a lot. <laughs> like a ton. But anyways, so I do that. You know, I make my success lists and things like that. Take excessive showers because I don't have to pay for the water. And I eat my wonderful box dinners. I got a Propel. Because I'm trying to quit energy drinks. I'm trying to quit a lot of things right now trying to be a whole lot healthier and all that but uh yeah so i don't know i mean that's pretty much it i mean don't mind the messy clothes i don't know if you can see that but i usually just dump my duffel bag and call it a day instead of trying to dig through it every day to find what i need so i'll just dump it out on the floor <laughs> it makes it easier to find my clothes i don't know i mean it's it's my method okay don't judge me i have to go to the laundromat soon though because been gone so long i'm about to be out of clothes and i gotta wash them all so i can start wearing them again and bring detergent though i don't really want to go buy it i don't know <laughs> i'll probably go buy some honestly but <sighs> yeah sometimes i go out on adventures depending on where i am like if i'm in cool places i mean it's kind of hard now because i don't really have a wingman i mean i used to be out of town with people who used to be my friends, you know? I mean, they went to the bar all the time. They never actually wanted to do anything with me, but once in a while, I'd convince them to go on adventures with me. I made some YouTube videos on it. I don't know, I try to, I always try to get them to sit down with me for podcasts, but they didn't give a shit and they were not interested. I uh, really wanted to get them all drunk one night and have them sit down for a podcast. Well, they all get drunk every night anyways at the bar. I was really just trying to convince them to come to my room after the bar and go freaking buck wild on a live stream or a podcast, but uh, yeah, no, they never went for it. Well, they always told me they were gonna go for it, but they just never did it, but what are you gonna do, right? What are you gonna do? So yeah, I mean, I don't know. I got a list here. So I had one list of podcast ideas. I went through them all and they're posted. Here's my next list. I was trying to make it longer. I've been sitting here for like an hour, but I'm just like, so full of rage right now and I don't know there's just two people that are really just shitting on me just because they want to 
has had this, such a deep hatred for me. The one guy's got a deep hatred for me for no reason. Like, I think he just hates me because of how young I am and because of what I, you know, because I'm doing what I'm doing at the age I'm doing it at. It's either that or he just hates me personally, like my personality, which makes sense because, I mean, I rub a lot of people the wrong way. I don't know. I think he just hates my energy. I mean, a lot of people do. I've had a, that problem actually a lot in the past, especially with people who lack motivation or, you know, energy or things like that in general, or just people, I guess, who are, seems to be the people who are just, like, miserable and hate their lives, which I don't get because, like, I'm miserable and hate my life, but, you know, I can put a smile on and have energy and be ready for work every day. I don't know. And the other girl, I mean... She's getting evicted, you know. She's just a horrible person. Nothing you can do about that, I guess. But hey, I gave her a place to live. I'm so stupid for that. Live and you learn, right? That's what they say, you live and you learn. I got this Lysol all-purpose cleaner, Lemon Breeze. That's what it's holding my phone up right now, actually. I spray it in my shoes every day after work because they be smelling. They be getting sweaty. We work relatively long hours, usually. Not really much days off. But I don't mind, I mean, when I'm out of town, I'm here to work, you know? So I'm fine with working 14 hour days, seven days a week type shit. But yeah, I've been trying to finish this book. It's a pretty good book. I'm on page a mm, hundred and like, where's my mark? 142 out of 200. I'll have that done before I go home. I'm trying to finish that other book, too, but I'll probably just end up reading that book on the drive home. It's like six, seven hours, something like that. So I could definitely finish this little book in that time. So I'll probably do that. Ooh. Ugh. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, I usually bring my Xbox and just grind Forza. Like, get back to my hotel room and just play Forza for like three hours straight. And then, you know, cuts into my sleep time. I mean, I'm already not sleeping as much as I should be, even now. I've been trying to sleep more for ever, but I just, for some reason, I'm, I'm so in love with just sleeping for six to five hours every night, and that's it. And I think because of the energy and the ADHD I got, I just can't sleep more than that. But I also think I'm just not giving myself a fair chance. I don't know, my goal tonight is to be like in bed trying to sleep by like eight or nine. Because it takes me so long to calm down and go to sleep. What do you think, should I check? Let's check, did the phone stop? You're low on storage, no way, we're still eight minutes strong. Good to know, good to know. Cause I still got that 25 minute video of my magnificent tenant and I haven't deleted that yet. I got it now that it's finally posted. It took two days to post that. That's the only thing that sucks about usually working out of town is sometimes I'll get stuck in an area with service so bad that it takes me like literally two days or a day or three days, something crazy like that just to upload a video. Like the last hotel I was at, I think I spent three days trying to upload one video, and it was only a seven-minute video of me sitting here shooting the shit. So I don't know. Don't really make much sense to me, if you ask me. I'm not going to lie to you. I think the taco might be getting sold, but I just bumped the table and shifted my phone when I did the setting my legs on the table type shit, and I got to eat this before it cools down, because then I'm going to go eat a pancake sausage stick. All right, before I leave... Before I leave you guys, I'm going to show you. This is my list, by the way. I don't know if you can see it. That's what's coming up. Let's see. The Lysol. Here's what I've eaten so far. I got a trash can. But, like, this is not your standard hotel room, you know? I mean, this, you'd never see. Or that, you'd never see. Like, that, that, they wouldn't be here. But this, this is next. I got, don't mind the muffin. Those are so gas. If you haven't ever had the blueberry muffins from Walmart, get them. You know my freezer's loaded. We got, I don't know, it's like strawberry and raspberry or something. Strawberry and grape, that's what it is. Peanut butter and jellies. You know, the lunch vibes. Some of the box turned up. I think that's what I'm eating right now. It doesn't look like it. <laughs> like, look at the picture. <laughs> really? It seems like you guys are gassing me up. I mean, I could be wrong, but like, why don't that look like that? I don't know. Pizza Hot Pockets. You have to have them. And these are the secret sauce. Sausage pancake sticks, baby. You know, I got some pasta. I don't know, I'm relatively well set up here. Three boxes of mandarin oranges, propel, water, chocolate milk, turkey breast, loaf of bread, and a loaf of actual bread. Pfft, can't forget the ready rice. And these, the 
only thing keeping me alive are these packets of propel hydration that I dump into bottles of water. Yeah, I don't know. I think I already put a little room tour on my uh, YouTube shorts, but here, now you guys get it too before I end the video. Before I end the video, end it right here. Okay. Peace out, dudes. Subscribe, because I know the majority of you, 94, 88% of you, aren't subscribed, and I know it. So, subscribe. Help your boy out. I know my content's all over the place, but, like, I'm gonna find a niche soon. I promise. I'm gonna. I'll give you guys the view, too, before I leave, all right? This is the end, all right? It's just an extended, you know, ending, because it's like, when I, oh, look, all the guys I work with hanging out. I'm just sitting in my room making YouTube videos. You see why I lack, you know, included, inclusion in things? You see why I'm just left out? I don't know. This is why I hate by myself. Isolation. I don't know why I just set my phone up. End the video. Peace.